Thank you, Mr. Chairman and all the committee members. So I, too, am just an everyday citizen that came up here, and I've learned a lot and heard a lot of heartache and all kinds of things. I'm old enough to have grown up before Roe versus Wade. I actually brought my knitting, but it was too hot in here to knit. And um, I'm a big knitter, and when I was in college, someone asked me if they could borrow my knitting needles. And I'm like, wow, that's really great. Do you want me to teach you? No, she was going to give herself an abortion because she didn't have the money or any way to figure out how to get to a doctor or to do something safe. That was my first experience. Um, so I am in complete support of H7444. I want it to be safe and legal. I also think that getting the husbands involved, I know about domestic violence through um, some work that I've done, and I know that that is a critical area where we need to be as safe as we can for women in that situation and the children who suffer when there's abuse. So I am in favor of that repeal. And also, I'm in favor of the... Um, people who work for our state to have insurance where they, too, can have what is mandated for all of us. Um, I, I appreciate what the doctors said because I truly believe that that is the key ingredient here. Doctors give you support. For the women who didn't get the, the additional counseling, the support that they needed after they did experience an abortion, my heart aches for them and for all of the pain they've suffered. I know people who have had abortions, who have had the counseling, who have gone on to lead productive lives in terms of being able to do other things. I have friends who didn't have an abortion, gave up their children, and now those children are trying to find them on Facebook or whatever. So it's a complicated situation, but I think we need to be safe, we need to be legal, and to care enough to, to take that hard stand. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sue. Could the